Yes, I did. Year and a half. I did miss it. Not gonna lie. Miss you guys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, right when I went out down, I uh, I knew it wasn't good because I, I couldn't move my leg at all. So uh, right then I, I laid in the hallway for a while not moving. So uh, I knew it's not going to be good. I didn't think it's going to be the whole season, but I knew it was a major problem. Oh, you know, it was hard, um, especially with all the COVID rules, you know, it was kind of kind of stuck at home for a while uh but i mean i had a i had a daughter at the same time pretty much so that was a sil silver lining i i got to spend time with her but definitely mentally tough uh you always want to be out there with the guys and uh just sitting at home kind of not being able able to contribute nothing to the team was a uh, was tough Yeah, you know, uh, it's a tough situation. Uh, I've been, as you said, uh, friends, teammates with Jack for a long time, and uh, uh, it's a tough position he is in, and uh, uh, I wish him all the best. I hope he gets what he wants. And uh, But, uh, I mean, we're here. He's not right now. So, uh, I mean, it's not really a fair question, I think, to ask the guys because we are teammates. Uh, we've been teammates, and uh, uh, the focus here is just uh, on us, you know, putting in the work in the camp. Because there's been so many changes since you got hurt. You coach so many new players. Players gone, Sam gone, Bristol gone. How do you reintroduce yourself to this group of guys? Uh, you know, uh, as myself, uh, I just do what I've I always done. You know, uh, uh, I bring it every day. I'm, I'm going to keep doing that. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. But, yes, definitely there's uh, new faces. Uh, it's it's nice. It's refreshing uh, meeting new guys, and at the same time, it's uh, a little sad too. Uh, as I said, I've been friends with Jack, uh, with Rhino, uh, Risto. You know, uh, still I walk around, and I think I'm gonna run into Risto or Sammy. So uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, they're our friends, but uh, it's business. Uh, guys move on, and uh, uh, we have a great group here that uh, I've seen. Uh, the guys, uh, everyone's ready to put in the work that we need. No, Dave, no Risto. No Well, you know, I think there's a good balance. Uh, we're definitely a young team, and uh, I think we have uh, good leaders in the group. Uh, there's young leaders, uh, as we know. And uh, I, th I think any time there's a fresh team, fresh faces, uh, it bonds the guys right right away together. Uh, uh, back in my junior days, we had an expansion team, and uh, everyone was a new guy. So uh, that's usually when the guys bond the most. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I was talking to my wife that uh, she was saying that I was the old guy. And I was like, no way, you know, I'm t still 27. But then I looked back when I was 19, I was calling the 27-year-olds old guys. You got here, you were playing center, and then you went to wing for many years. Now you're back to center again. Yeah, how do you feel about the move? No, I feel great. Uh, I mean, i always been a center. Uh, I started my career, as you said, and uh, I went over uh, in Latvia for the Olympic qualification. I played center, and uh, I felt great. Um, comfortable playing both positions uh it's definitely been a while at center but uh i enjoy playing center uh it's a little more work than a uh, winger but uh i enjoy it as far as the timeline of your recovery when did you start getting back to normal and skating and then what did those games i guess last month for latvia i mean what did they do for your confidence and it was just how meaningful were they for you with the latvia oh uh, yeah rehab was long um I mean, I was, I think, uh, two months in a 90-degree uh, brace uh, locked in with my legs. So uh, it was no fun, and I just took it slow. But it was, I think, mid-May I started skating it already. So it was right when the season ended when I kind of started back up. So uh, I've had a long time to recover, and uh, I'm 100%. And as you said, uh, I mean, the games back home, uh, any time I can play for my country, it's a, it's an honor. And uh, for me, not to play a year and a half, it was uh, really emotional, you know, the uh, the first game, I, I had so much energy that I haven't had in many years. You know, uh, I think uh, I never gone through a injury like that, and uh, I have way more appreciation for uh, hockey, the game. I uh, um, feel like you sometimes take for granted when uh, you know you keep playing, but when it's taken away, it's a little different feeling now. Watching from afar, what was your impression? 
impression of how this group played the last month of last season, just in the step that some of these young guys took under Don? No, they definitely turn around. Uh, you know, I watched every game. Uh, I mean, I didn't have uh, anything else to do, so I, I watched a lot of games, uh, different teams too. Uh, uh, but, yeah, no, they turn around. Um, I, I, I knew right away the practices were different. Uh, the guys, uh, just the work ethic, I think, uh, guys competing, uh, it kind of just rose up. You know, I think that was a big difference, and uh, I think that's going to be uh, our focus uh, this season, you know, to be one of the hardest working teams. Zacchaeus, you've been part of numerous rebuilds, and none of them have really taken. What gives you the confidence that this one might finally be the one that works? You know, this year there's a uh, – it's hard to describe even we had uh, opening meetings yesterday with Kevin and uh, Donnie and uh, just the energy that's uh, that's around here is uh, different. I, c I can tell uh, even day one today, I mean, the practice, the pace uh, was the highest I think I've ever seen. Uh, uh, guys are hungry. We are young guys. Uh, they have something to prove. Uh, uh, the guys are ready to work. So I, I, I think that's the biggest thing that these guys are willing to put in the work. No, I, I, yeah, as I said, uh, once you're injured, you kind of look at things different. You know, when I, when I was playing, I I did not watch any hockey. I never watched hockey, really. Uh, but then I had time, and you just pick up little things. You uh, start watching little, little other players, what what they do, the little things. So I think it was definitely, uh, in that way, it was good for me. Was there one team that you particularly liked watching, or you tended to turn their game on more than others? Or? No, I, I just, whatever was on, I, I put it on. I, I don't really have other favorite teams. <laughs> No, no, I had some uh, bets going on with my wife. She picked some teams, and I picked some teams, so I definitely was rooting for some teams. But uh, I, I, she, she beat me, so I, I'm never picking picking any teams. So, I guess I know you said that you used to think that 27-year-olds were old, and now you are 27. And, you know, with all the guys that were kind of shipped out over the summer and then the Jets situation, do you kind of see yourself as, you know, being one of those leaders for this team for this season? And do you kind of take pride in that? Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, – as you said, I uh, I've been around here. This is my ninth ninth camp. Um, throughout the years, I've uh, I've seen it all. You know, I, I have a lot of experience, and uh, um, we definitely have a uh, the group of the older guys that are going to be the leaders that uh, will push the young guys, uh, teach the young guys, uh, and the same thing for the young guys. You know, they'll they'll lead us uh, in a different way. So uh, I think it's all good. Great. Thank you, Thank you guys.